Good afternoon ladies. This is the Crafty Lady and I'm back with uh, tutorial number three on RTP books. When we left off I um, indicated that we needed to finish our covers, our book covers. We had uh, covered the tops. Now I have covered the inside cover and I did it the same way. I put glue, uh, I put uh, score tape around the outer perimeter and then I used uh, the ATG again on the center laid it down on my paper, cut around it with my craft knife. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I took the sanding block and sanded around the edges and then I went around and I inked it with the distressed ink. Exactly the same way as we did the front. So we have our book cover finished, it's chipboard, it's covered with our papers, it's sanded uh, to bevel the edges and it's inked around the edges. So we have our book cover finished. I also went ahead and covered my pages except a couple here we're going to do. Um, I cut the uh, pages are two and three eighths by three and uh, three and seven eighths by two and three eighths. Now each each one of these tubes if they've come from a different paper line can be a different size. I think all of my tubes in this particular uh, book came from the same type of uh, same paper company so virtually they are the same size so I cut all of my papers front and back I use the same paper on the front as I use on the back and you can alternate them whatever you want to do but all the papers are cut at two and three eighths by three and seven eighths that are the page covers now I've left a couple here that we're going to uh, do together I went ahead and I used the score tape on our tabs, I'm going to bring this in just a little bit for you. The score tapes on our tabs, these are the tabs that we're going to attach at the end of our pages, like so, when we take the, the uh, tape off. And we're going to have an extension that we're going to feed through our uh, binding machine. Uh, but you first of all, and we didn't do this, we didn't add the pages prior to putting on covering with the paper. So I've used different papers. Uh, this is going to end up to be a little boy's book or a boy's book or a grandson's book. I'll give it to my grandson. Here's the footballs and that type of thing. And the paper, uh, the paper pad is uh, it's called uh, all all around uh, a boy's stack. So it is boy's paper. Uh, so I've all I finished all of the of the uh, tabs except one and I'm going to do that in class and I want to finish up attaching the uh, papers to our pages so we're going to do that let's get started on that first of all I'm going to take our uh, this one's a little crooked I'm going to straighten it up I don't think it'll matter but it's a little crooked uh, and then I'll re-ink anytime you trim or whatever you need to go back and re-ink the edges because it does show I'm using score tape. You can use glue, you can use the red tape, ATG tape, and I have both sizes of ATG tape. I have the half inch uh, gun and the quarter inch, but your, this type of tape, the red tape or the score tape is stronger, much stronger. And these books are going to be open and shut and open and shut, uh, so you want to be able to, uh, uh, let me get in camera here, you want to be able to have this good and sturdy on these tabs because that's what is holding your pages on to your to your uh, binding method. Whether you uh, whether you do it uh, the Laura Dennison way or whether you do uh, the bind at all, I just trim off these edges. Okay, now we have all of our tabs finished. They're all taped and ready to go. So before we start putting the books in, I want to show you how we finished up uh, the pages themselves. Carrie, now you can take. I have, and I'm not going to use that on this, but I have several of these crocodile uh, corner choppers. This is the photo corner and the angle corner, which I'm going to use the angle corner on our pages. It makes it look like a, a tag when you when you chamfer or angle the corners. But there's also different. Uh, uh, there's scallops, 
I forget the name of all of them, but you can take your corner or any kind of a rounder, a corner, the corner rounder that's a half inch, quarter inch. So any any rounding corner uh, would be would be fine as well. Uh, oh, I'm not doing it to these. Okay, so we're going to uh, we are going. Finishing our edges just like we have carried that same theme all the way through. Now I'm going to take my my uh, ATG on this because this doesn't have to. I mean, it certainly has to stick. And you can you can use glue, any kind of a, a tape runner, and I do it around all four sides and down the middle, so it covers well. You want to cover your pages well. Now you want to line this up with the side and the top. These should be about an eighth of an inch all the way around your paper. And that's why we did at least a quarter of an inch of the staining, but when you put your papers on, then it just shows that. So let's sit here the other side. I'm going to have to move this out. We're out of camera. There we go. Uh, these are such cute little books, and you can carry little brag books, whatever you'd like to call them, in your purse. Uh, in your back, back uh, they're good for kids, be fun for kids. Okay, we have another page finished and covered. We have one more to go. Let's uh, stain the edges. See, so you have footballs and airplanes and all kinds of things. This is the coolest paper. I, I made a complete album for my grandson, a big book. Uh, I have shown that on a YouTube video. Uh, it's called Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and I use these papers for with file folders, and all the pages were made out of. Uh, primary color colored file folders and it's really cute so it's on uh, YouTube as well if you'd like to take a look at it <clears throat> all four all four sides and then down the middle allow your eighth of, virtually it's an eighth of an inch all the way around now there again these uh, tubes are various sizes or they vary a little bit simply because of what they are uh, but they make good sleeves you can make the sleeves yourself which I've done you just uh, cut the size the width double it add a quarter of an inch uh, to flap it over and adhere it and make them out of cardstock and I have done that uh, but it's virtually the same premise you have a tube Okay, we have all of our pages covered. Bright colors. Bring in just a little bit to see. There's all of our pages. Now we're going to attach our pages to our uh, tabs. Now I've used the score tape. You pull the score tape off. I pull off of both at the same time. You don't have to. And then you're going, you can see the tape. The tape is a quarter of an inch wide. Uh, if you can see it on camera. Yeah, there it is. See, it's a quarter of an inch wide. You're going to line that, your one end, it doesn't matter which end, up with that quarter of an inch, edge to edge, and stick it down. And then just fold over the top and stick it down and there you go you have your tab to your page okay so let's finish the other pages lay it down on that quarter inch tape line fold it over and press it down you can burnish these as well to make sure because they you need to have a good stick are two. These little books, once you get uh, a little system, uh, I go into assembly line, it seems like system when I make them, I, I do all my tags, I do all my papers, and then I just start like this putting them together. There again you line up on that, that quarter inch tape line. There we go. Fold it down, and we have another one. Now that one I got, ooh, I got that just a wee bit 
crooked. That's okay. It'll be fine. I'm going to trim off this edge so that they line up. Okay. <clears throat> I have everybody in the world I know saving these. I'm going to give a class at a local uh, uh, variety type store that we have in the area and I'm going to give a class. I have about four storage tubs full of these tubes. But as I say, you can also use uh, paper towel tubes as well. You get two. Uh, if you had three paper towel tubes, you'd have your six pages. And you can have as many pages as you'd like. I always use six pages on all my albums of any size virtually. You're going to use four. You don't have to use six. But out of three to uh, paper towel tubes, you would have your six pages um, plus you would have three of six pages for a micro mini which is done the same exactly the same way okay we have our pages ready to go we have our book cover finished we have the front and the back See, we're coming right along. There's your little book. And as you see, these will attach all together when we get to that. Now, very quickly, we're going to do our um, tags that go on the inside. Now, you need to measure because I took this tag out of one of my other books. And I to, to get a size, because I don't have the sizes written down, shame on me, does not fit. Well, it does, but it's really tight. So I remeasured for this particular book. Each book will be a little different. So these ta the tags for this book are two and three eighths by three and a quarter. Each book will be different. Each sizing will be a little bit different. So I have cut these two and three eighths by three and a quarter and they fit in here just very nicely. Now they'll stop when they get in. I'm catching on something, aren't I? Uh, there we go. They'll catch when you put the binding on here and you put the, the spirals through here, that will stop your tag from going clear to the very end. So these will just come to the end. I have uh, four of them cut. I'm going to cut the other two on camera just to show you that I cut a long strip of whatever paper you use. Uh, I cut it at uh, three and a quarter, three and a quarter uh, <coughs> excuse me, at three, I'm cutting it at three and a quarter and then I'm cutting each page at two and three eighths. And that didn't work. Hmm. What did I do wrong? I kept my paper too short. I'm sorry. I had that right in the first place. We'll just cut another piece because I'll always use that paper for something. <coughs> So we're going to make this three, we're going to make sure, we're going to make this three and three quarters, and then two and three eighths. There we go. Two and three eighths and three and three quarters. Let me change this. Now, this is just for this particular book. Every book will vary, and, and you need to, uh, what's the old adage, uh, measure twice and cut once. Well, obviously, I didn't do that. Okay, we have our pages. I mean, we have our tags, not our pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
Now I'm going to take three at a time. You don't have to do this. You can round the corners. You can do anything. It's your book. You can do anything that you want to do, but I'm going to take three at a time because these chompers are, they cut cardstock and uh, chipboard and virtually anything. And I'm going to chamfer or angle the ed the corners, just two of the corners at the top, which makes them look like a tag, like a shipping tag. Then I'm going to take the crocodile. If you have a crocodile or a punch, you can do them individually with a punch. The crocodile, if you happen to have one, will do several layers. I'm going to mark this spot virtually in the center. I'm going to take the crocodile on the large hole and cut my hole because I'm going to add. So there are the holes. Uh, I usually run a ribbon or twine or something through these. It makes them real cute. Uh, and I'll also or uh, add a metal uh, grommet uh, in there as well, and it keeps it sturdy. Or you could do the uh, uh, the uh, paper hole, like using paper to make them uh, sturdy. Whatever you want to do. So we have these. They fit in there very nicely. Now, we're going to finish up on number four with our book. Uh, we're going to uh, distress the edges. We're going to put in the grommets, put in the ribbons, and then attach the book to our front and back covers. So we will be uh, on number four the next time I come back. And if you'd like to go ahead, if you're working along with me, and finish, the, uh, finish up what we did today, and then we'll probably finish up on number four. Thank you so much and have a great day.